the Dunsmore Cup, a symbol of excellence, a testament to hard work, dedication and the relentless pursuit of victory. It's more than just a trophy, it's a beacon of hope, a dream that fuels the ambitions of countless athletes. Each year, teams from across the nation set their sights on this coveted prize, knowing that lifting it means etching their names into the annals of history. It's a symbol of supremacy in Canadian university football. The roar of the crowd, the clash of helmets, the strategic plays, all converge to create a spectacle that captivates fans and players alike. The Dunsmore Cup is the pinnacle of university football in Canada, representing not just a game, but a legacy. For the teams battling for it, the stakes couldn't be higher. The energy is electric, the pressure is immense. Every pass, every tackle, every touchdown is a step closer to glory or a step towards heartbreak. The players know that their performance on this field will be remembered for years to come. This year, the Laval University Rouge et Or and the Montreal Caravan faced off in a clash of titans. Both teams have storied histories filled with triumphs and challenges. The Rouge et Or, with their legacy of dominance, were determined to add another chapter to their illustrious history. The Rouge et Or were looking to cement their dynasty. Their preparation was meticulous, their strategy flawless. They knew that to win, they had to be at their best, leaving no room for error. Every player, every coach, every fan believed in their ability to achieve greatness once more. The Carabins were hungry for an upset. They had trained tirelessly, studied their opponents, and were ready to challenge the status quo. For them, this was more than just a game. It was an opportunity to redefine their legacy, to prove that they could rise to the occasion and claim victory against all odds. Who would emerge victorious? The answer lay in the heart, determination, and sheer will of the players on that fateful day. The first half was a stalemate. Both teams were evenly matched. The Rouge et Or defense was a brick wall. The Carabin's offense was kept in check. The score at halftime was a testament to the tight competition. But a question lingered. Would this defensive struggle continue? The second half saw a shift in momentum. Laval's coach, Glenn Constantin, made some key adjustments. The Rouge Or offense came alive. They started to control the line of scrimmage. Their running game found its rhythm. The Carabin's defense, once impenetrable, started to show cracks. Olivier Coul, Laval's star quarterback, was instrumental in their victory. His ability to read the defense was uncanny. He made pinpoint throws, putting the ball exactly where it needed to be. Coul's leadership was evident. He rallied his teammates when they needed it most. Could anyone stop him? Arnaud Desjardins, Laval's running back, was another standout performer. He was a workhorse, carrying the ball with power and determination. Desjardins' vision and agility allowed him to find holes in the Carabin's defense. He was a constant threat, wearing down the opposition with every carry. We knew it was going to be a battle, but our guys never gave up. They played with heart and determination. This win is for everyone who bleeds Rouge et Or. We're a family, and we fought for each other out there. The rivalry between Laval and Montreal is one of the fiercest in Canadian sports. It's a rivalry that has been brewing for decades, with each game adding another chapter to their storied history. The intensity on the field is matched only by the passion of the fans in the stands. Every tackle, every touchdown and every play is a testament to the dedication and hard work of these athletes. It's a clash of cultures, where the unique styles of play from each team come to the forefront. Laval, known for their strategic and disciplined approach, often contrasts with Montreal's more dynamic and aggressive style. This difference in play styles makes every encounter unpredictable and thrilling. The diverse crowds in the stadiums reflect the rich cultural tapestry of both cities, adding to the vibrant atmosphere of styles, of pride. The pride that each player and fan feels is palpable. It's not just about winning, it's about representing their city, their community and their heritage. Team huddles are filled with motivational speeches and fans proudly wear their team's merchandise, creating a sea of colors in the stands. This pride fuels the players, pushing them to give their all on the field. Both teams have a rich history of success. Over the years, they have accumulated numerous championship trophies and have celebrated countless victories. These historical games are etched in the memories of fans and players alike. 
Each victory is a testament to the hard work, dedication and skill of the teams. The celebrations that follow are a mix of joy, relief and a sense of accomplishment. They've produced some of the CFL's biggest stars. Many players who have donned the jerseys of Laval and Montreal have gone on to achieve great success in the Canadian Football League. These stars are celebrated not just for their on-field prowess, but also for their contributions to the sport off the field. Interviews with these players often reveal the deep respect and admiration they have for the rivalry. Every game between them is a battle for bragging rights. The intensity of the tackles, the elation of the fans celebrating touchdowns and the fierce competition on the field make each game a spectacle. It's not just about the score, it's about proving who is the best. The bragging rights that come with a victory are cherished and often become a topic of conversation until the next encounter. Absolutely, this rivalry brings out the best in both teams. The preparation that goes into each game is meticulous. Players and coaches study their opponents, devise strategies and work tirelessly to ensure they are at their peak. The respect between the teams is evident as seen in the handshakes before the game. But once the whistle blows, it's all about competition and giving their best. It's not just a game, it's a tradition steeped in history and emotion. The pre-game ceremonies, the rituals and the traditions that surround each game add to the spectacle. Fans come together not just to watch a game, but to be part of something bigger. The sense of community and shared experience is what makes this rivalry so special. A legacy that both Laval and Montreal fiercely protect. The mascots, the flags and the celebrations are all part of this legacy. Each game is a chapter in a story that has been written over many years. The players and fans are the custodians of this legacy, ensuring that it continues to thrive and inspire future generations. The rivalry between Laval and Montreal is more than just a game. It's a celebration of sport, culture and community. Section 8. Draft Day Dreams, the road ahead for star players. For many players on the field, the Dunsmore Cup was more than just a championship game. It was a chance to showcase their skills for CFL scouts. Players like Cool and Desjardins saw their draft stock rise with their impressive performances. The future looks bright for these young stars. Section 9. What's your take? Share your thoughts. What did you think of the game? Were you on the edge of your seat? Who do you think was the MVP? Share your thoughts and comments below. Section 10. Relive the glory your favorite Dunsmore Cup moments. What was your favorite moment of the game? Was it Cool's game-winning touchdown pass? Or maybe it was Desjardins' incredible run in the fourth quarter? Take our survey and tell us about your favorite Dunsmore Cup moments. Section 11. Conclusion. A victory for the history books. Laval's victory in the Dunsmore Cup was a testament to their hard work, dedication and unwavering team spirit. The journey to this moment was filled with countless hours of practice, strategic planning and an unyielding belief in their abilities. Each player, from the star quarterback to the unsung heroes on the bench, played a crucial role in this monumental achievement. The coaching staff, with their relentless pursuit of excellence, guided the team through every challenge, ensuring that they were always prepared, both mentally and physically. They overcame adversity, rose to the occasion and etched their names into the annals of Canadian university football history. The season was not without its trials. Injuries, tough opponents and moments of doubt tested their resolve. But with every setback, the team grew stronger, more united and more determined to achieve their ultimate goal. The final game was a true spectacle of athleticism and strategy showcasing the very best of what university football has to offer. The stands were filled with passionate fans, their cheers echoing through the stadium, creating an electrifying atmosphere that fueled the players' drive to succeed. As the Rouge Eto celebrate their triumph, one thing is certain, the legacy of the Dunsmore Cup lives on. This victory is not just a win on the scoreboard, it is a symbol of perseverance, teamwork and the unbreakable spirit of the Laval football program. The memories of this season will inspire future generations of players, reminding them of what is possible when you believe in yourself and your team. The Dunsmore Cup, with its rich history 